So earlier today, we talked about this being an opportunity to get some minutes in. Coach Ash just said it seemed like you were getting more and, com- more and more confident with each shift. Did you feel that way? Yeah, I feel like maybe a little rusty early on, um, you know, just making quick decisions, uh, something I haven't done in a long time. Um, but I feel like as the game went on, I got a little better, more confident, uh, and making better plays with the puck, for sure. And then just, again, being able to get minutes that maybe you get more here than what you want, at least right now, I mean, that has to help kind of instill some confidence too, right? Yeah, it's nice to play games and, you know, play 15, 20 minutes. Um, whereas in Buffalo, I wasn't playing too much. Um, and, and, you know, it's hard to get in the game sometimes uh, when you don't play play a lot and, you know, you're skipping shifts. Um, so that was very nice. Um, you know, I thought we played pretty good tonight. Obviously not the result we wanted, but, um, you know, just clean up a few things. And I think we, uh, we should have had a victory tonight. You're on a good team, went up against a good team. I mean, how good is AHL hockey still? Yeah, I mean, I think the, you know, the difference between the AHL and NHL isn't very big. I mean, it's a small margin. Uh, these are obviously some of the best players in the world as well. Um, and uh, a little different style of hockey, but I still think, you know, it's a tough game. And, uh, you know, it's tough to put up points and get goals in this league, just like it is in the NHL. Is, is it a challenge at all when you were playing with Novikov? Obviously, there's a language barrier there, but just in general, having a new team partner? Yeah, I think I played with him maybe one or two games in preseason. So, you know, you have a little bit of chemistry there, but... Uh, like I said earlier, I was just trying my best to help him. And, um, you know, I think he's a good player and, uh, you know, you can learn a lot and I'm um, trying to help him as much as possible. But uh, I think he's going to be a good, really good player in the future. You spoke this morning about how the opportunity here may be somewhat of a leadership chance where you can talk a little bit more. Do you catch yourself being a more, uh, more verbal in that year? Yeah, probably quiet at first. You know, some of the guys I don't know. And, uh, you know, it's my first time in this locker room today. So. Um, but I think I'll get there. Um, I think we have a lot of good leaders in that room. You know, I feel like everyone's on the same page, and uh, at the end of the day, everyone wants to win. So um, it's a good group of guys in there, and I think they're on the right track. You touched on it a little bit, but sort of how are you settling in now in one game on your belt with this team? Yeah, I mean, I think that was, you know, a good start. Um, even though we didn't get the result, like I said, um, I thought we played a decent game. We can just clean up some things like the PK and, you know, watch some uh, video. And obviously that's a good team. They're in first place. Um, and, you know, they, uh, they capitalize on a lot of their opportunities tonight. But um, I think we can improve for sure and, you know, take a look at some things and, um, you know, get back in the swing of things for uh, Friday, Saturday. So going into the, the big set down, what's kind of your mentality now as you move forward? Uh, I think just stay positive. I mean, uh, you know, I, like I said, I think this is an opportunity and it's something that I can take advantage of. Um, you know, it's not always a negative thing, and I think if you have the right mindset and use it in the in the right way, uh, I think it's beneficial for a lot of people. And you look at someone like Levi. You know, he had a couple games down here. He played really well, and I think when he came back up to Buffalo, uh, he was a different player. Um, you know, it gets that confidence, and uh, um, I think it helps. For yourself, the transition between NHL and NHL is different for everyone. For you uh, specifically, how difficult is it to just play in a different system just a couple of days after being involved? Yeah, well, I feel like the system's pretty similar. I think uh, Coach Appert tries to, you know, mimic and uh, stay as close as he can to the system we play in Buffalo. And, uh, you know, he made that pretty apparent to me today in video, and I talked to him a little bit, and I saw that on the ice. Um, you know, we play a very aggressive aggressive style of play, and I think, uh, you know, force the team into mistakes, and I think it's the same thing we do in Buffalo. Um, you know, but he's a good coach. Yeah, I feel like he knows what he's doing, and uh, you know they got the right staff here, and um, you know they're they're, they're doing a good job, obviously. Um, and uh, it, it was an easy transition for me. I feel like uh, you know, it, uh, right when I stepped on the ice, um, it was easy, and uh, just kind of came to me as I was playing. Uh, you know, it felt pretty similar.